double wide six guys and today we're going to be taking apart some pallets I don't know if you guys saw my last video but I made a backboard for basketball hoop out of pallets and I had a heck of a time trying to rip apart the pallets so I kind of made a pallet ripper tool and I made it out of what I had and basically it's a crankshaft from a small engine and there's a piece of a tractor transmission that goes uh, between the counterweights it comes up here it's narrower than the pipe I have and then it has some bolts holding that on so that's all solid steel and then I have a galvanized pipe that I painted um, and this thing it's angled forward a little bit maybe like seven or eight degrees um, but we'll show you how this thing works it's really heavy and really fatiguing and I tried to make it so I'd have some extra leverage and I kicked down on the thing once and just like in the cartoon when the rake hits you in the head I got hit in the head here with a, a metal pole um, and it didn't feel too good so we'll show you how this thing works So after I welded up the first one and bumped my head, and luckily it hit the the front of my head. I'm, I'm really not kidding. I got hit really hard. Um, I decided that I wanted to make another one. And I went back on YouTube and I looked at some other pallet breakers. And this one has a handle from a shovel that's made out of fiberglass. And I used that because it was light, but I'm kind of worried about it breaking, so I put some hose clamps on it to sort of prevent that. And I was also working kind of with what I had laying around, and you'll notice I made this one shorter so it couldn't hit me in the head. And then down here, you may recognize this. This is actually like the foot pedal, I think from a Murray Select tractor. So I cut it off and uh, it was already bent at 90 degrees. And then this little flange, this thing was actually part of the tractor. Um, I don't know, it was attached to this uh, clutch rod. So I just uh, welded it on here in the proper place. And for this one, this design is based is based loosely on Izzy Swans. He has a tool that he sells to do this, break apart pallets. Um, it's not hard to break them apart. The, the problem is breaking apart and reusing the material and keeping it usable. One other thing about this one is that I forged it. So I heated it up and I tried to make a nail remover. Um, but even by heat treating the metal and making it really strong I don't quite have the right angle on there to pull nails real well it works but not as well as uh, I would like so we'll show you how this one works So the last tool that I have here, this one deserves a closer look. So I put it up on the table to save my back because uh, like two weeks ago I roughed up my back trying to break apart these pallets. But this thing is made by Crescent. It's called the Crescent Bull Bar 
and the number on it is DKB44X and basically there's a forked head on this that's indexable and I brought this up here so that you can see the head can actually change angles which puts you at a great advantage you can use it like a pitchfork you can index it all the way back this way so if you're ripping boards off a deck and you're up close to a house or a post you can change your leverage and breaking apart boards and demolition work is all about leverage and this thing has uh, these pointed ends on the fork here so it can get between boards and another thing that is really cool about it is it has a really nice nail puller right in the center um, and that will pull nails and also save your back at the same time so we'll show you how this tool works so the indexing bull bar we're going to push the button. I believe there's 14 different positions that this thing can index. Put it right on here. And if you want to save your boards, you're going to have to take your time. Because if you just rip them up, they will break. And I have found that the bull bar will pretty much take apart anything you want to. But... If you pull hard enough, it'll break anything too. So that's fine if you're doing deconstruction. But if you're trying to re-salvage something, you're really going to have to take your time with this tool. And there's, there's a lot of videos on YouTube on people going full speed and uh, taking apart pallets. And like I said, I, I don't want to hurt my back. But this pallet I have is solid oak. These pieces are at least three quarters of an inch thick on top. They're about two and three quarters wide. Double nailed. They're pretty heavy nails. But by using the bull bar and just taking my time, I can go through and deconstruct this thing. Got a stand on here. Try it on this side. There we go. So it does work. And it does a little better job for sure than the ones I built. Another really nice feature is this nail puller. It's nice because you don't have to strain your back or bend over to even pull nails. And it can actually get under the wood on like a deck or something and it can get under there and rip up that nail or even a screw. And these nails and pallets, they're serrated, meaning they have like flutes on them. And they're also, they use glue. Like I believe a heat set glue gets hot when the nail goes into the wood and it melts and holds it in place. I mean, they are really in there. And most of the time with pallets, the nails rip apart because the heads are so thin from coming out of a nail gun. This thing is about five inches wide and the opening on there looks to be about three and a quarter and they designed that so that if you have a double joist on like a deck that fork will fit right on top of that and it has this cam on the back so when you pry that thing will 
roll back and give you some extra leverage. And like I said, these tools are all about leverage. So <clears throat> if you want to try and build your own, here's some designs. I haven't quite perfected mine. If you want to buy one, I'm going to put a link here to Amazon where you can get the uh, Crescent DKB 44X Bull Bar. Uh, it's got the double wide six approval. This thing is a code red demolition tool. Take care.